imposing, flexible, able to sail fast and launch devastating airstrikes at long range, aircraft carriers are the ultimate expression of national power. And many of the world's best armed countries are acquiring them. China, Russia, India, Brazil, the UK, France, America. But just getting your hands on a flat top is hardly enough. For every example of a country that succeeds in deploying a functional carrier and matching air wing, there's a counterexample, a flat top hobbled by mechanical problems, stricken by age, sidelined by bad design, or stuck with warplanes that simply don't work. What follows are not the success stories. They are the case studies in flat top failure and object lessons for all the countries building aircraft carriers today. Mother Russia's tugboat bait. The Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's only aircraft carrier, was launched in 1985 and joined the fleet in 1991. Since then, the 55,000 ton, fossil fuel powered flat top has managed just four frontline deployments, all of them to the Mediterranean, and all of them just a few months in duration. By contrast, American flat tops typically deploy for at least six months every two years. The nuclear powered USS Enterprise, commissioned in 1962, completed 25 deployments before leaving service in 2012. One of Admiral Kuznetsov's major problems is her power plant. The vessel is powered by steam turbines and turbo pressurized boilers that Defense Industry Daily generously described as defective. Anticipating breakdowns, large ocean going tugs accompany Admiral Kuznetsov whenever she deploys. Poor maintenance makes life difficult and dangerous for Admiral Kuznetsov's 1,900 sailors. A short circuit started a fire off Turkey in 2009 that killed one seaman. Her pipes are bad. When it's this cold, water freezes everywhere including pipes which may cause a rupture, English Russia reported. To prevent this, they just don't supply almost 60% of the cabins with water, neither in winter nor in summer. The situation with latrines is just as bad. The ship has over 50 latrines, but half of them are closed. Almost 2,000 men. 25 latrines. Do the math. Training and morale are so poor that in 2009, Admiral Kuznetsov sailors apparently botched an at-sea refueling, spilling hundreds of tons of fuel into the Irish Sea. And even when the ship functions as intended, her design limits her utility. Admiral Kuznetsov does not have steam catapults like American flat tops do. Instead, her Sukhoi fighters launch into the air off a bow ramp. The fighters must stay light, meaning they can carry only a few air-to-air -air missiles and a partial fuel load. Their patrol endurance is measured in minutes rather than hours. English Russia summed up the Russian aircraft carrier's fundamental limitations succinctly. Actual aircrafts visit this ship pretty rarely. Moscow appreciates its flat-top problem and has vague plans to replace Admiral Kuznetsov sometime in the 2020s, by which time planners can realistically expect to have deployed the decrepit old lady maybe two or three more times.